Hi guys, welcome back. So I did a quick haul at the Dollar Tree and I wanted to show you guys what I got. It's not that much, it's gonna be a short haul, but I stopped in to get some stuff to decorate our pumpkins because we're gonna be doing that on Tuesday night. I will do a little video after that's done of what we did there. But I wanted to get some more stuff and I did find some for us and I found a few other things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you. The first thing that I found is, this is the first time I have seen them, but I got one of the Halloween doormats. Tis the season to be spooky with the little haunted house and the bats. I just think this is really cute. I'm going to put it out for Halloween. I think it'll be really cute on the front door. Right now I have the fall one out, so I'd really like to change it out for the week of Halloween to this. So I'm really excited that I found it. Yeah, it was the first store that I've actually seen it in, and it was at my smaller store. So I was really excited to find it. And then I needed this for a project for school, so I got a big foam white board because I have to do that genogram for class and this is what I'm gonna be doing it on. So I grabbed that to get working on that. Let's see, I picked up one Christmas item and I was looking for, I'm still looking for the tree colors, I'm still looking for some of the gnome stuff, but I did find some really cute cards. So these are the little Christmas cards and this one says home for the holidays and has the really pretty red truck with the Christmas tree in the back. And on the back, it says, may the peace and joy of the holiday season be with you throughout the coming year. You can see that is what it says inside. So yeah, you get 12 cards and white envelopes. Um, you just get one design, the Christmas tree truck, but I just thought this was too cute to leave there. I just loved it so much. Let me take it out of the plastic so that you guys can really see it. There we go. Isn't that cute? I just thought it was so cute. So that is what it looks like. And it has the little snowflakes in there and then it has a snowflake on the back. So super cute. So I grabbed those because I know that if I didn't grab them now, they wouldn't be there anymore. So I got those to send out as my Christmas cards. Really excited that I found them. I found these dog treats that I thought Chloe might like. They are the Foppers. Foppers Gourmet Pete. That is not what it says. Gourmet Pet Treat Bakery. Delicious Gourmet Pet Treats made with a loving touch. So these are peanut flavor mini bones, fresh oven baked treats. They have four simple ingredients made in the USA. You get four ounces. It says it's ethically sourced, sustainably focused, no corn fillers or byproducts, food safety certified. So yeah, you get all those wonderful things and they're just these little mini peanut butter bones you can see right there. It says there's four ingredients. Wheat flour, rolled oats, vegetable oil, and peanut flour are all that's in here. So I'm happy giving her that. I feel like that's a nice treat. So I'm gonna try those for her and we'll see if she likes them. I will let you know. So these are for the pumpkin. And I was really, really excited to see these because I hadn't seen these before. And I got two of them. It is just an 80 piece of the black pom-poms. I was very excited to find all black. This will be perfect for our pumpkins. We didn't need all the colors. We wanted black mainly, so I was super excited to find these. I mean, I know it's the little things in life, but I was really excited to find the black pom-poms. So I grabbed two packages of those, and you get 80 each in here. So I think that's a great deal. To go along with that for the pumpkins, I grabbed this five piece of glitter from Crafter Square. They're each 0.5 ounces, and you get red, green, silver, pink, and gold. I grabbed those to do on the pumpkins as well with some glue. So grabbed that. I got these markers to go along with my genogram little project with the whiteboard and they are the six pack of Jot line markers. So they make like lines. They have the three little dots in them so that they make the lines. So I grabbed those just to maybe do a border or something on my genogram or do some different colors on there. We have to show a bunch of different stuff. And so I figured maybe some different colored markers could be something and I could put them in the little key. So I grabbed this to do that. You guys don't have any idea what I'm talking about because it's, it's a project for school, but I have to do this big genogram project where I map out my family. And so I'll be using those markers and that whiteboard for that. I finally found, and I was so excited with this, you guys. This has been a wish list item like for months and months and months. I have been looking for these every single time I go to the Dollar Tree. Literally every single time I've gone, I've looked for these and I have had no luck finding them. I found them. I am so excited. And they were at my little store that never has anything. I found them today. It was like the jackpot of the day. These are the five piece soak off nail caps from Sassy and Chic. I am probably more excited to have these than I should be. I am so excited for these. I get gel manicures all the time when I don't have my fun nails on. 
and these definitely will be so helpful. It's hard to get gel nails off. You guys know that. It's really difficult. So I figured this would be perfect. It says on here to soak a cotton ball in your prefer preferred acetone nail polish remover to insert that cotton ball into the cap. And then you put your finger in, allowing the nail to soak. So wait three to five minutes and then remove the cap and wash your hands and throw away the cotton ball. And you rinse the cap. So yeah. So I'm so excited. So I got two packs so that I would have 10 so that they could all soak off at the same time. Very excited to have found those. I also picked up, because I've seen really good things about this, so I wanted to give it a try, and it is the Sassy and Chic Foundation Brush, the little one that's shaped like that. They say that this is amazing for contour and bronzer and all kinds of different things, so I figured I would give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the packaging so you can see it a little better. I'm sure you've all seen it. They've had it there for a long time, but it's just a little kind of like brush brush I don't like a hair brush brush almost it's like you know I don't know how to explain it but yeah it's really super soft so if I'm just judging by the quality of what it feels like it feels pretty nice so yeah I'm gonna use this I will let you guys know how that works out for me I also found these that I hadn't ever seen before and I don't know if that's just because I hadn't seen them before or if they're new but these are the modest basics alcohol free disposable washcloths enriched with aloe chamomile and vitamin E you get 18 large cloths. They're 12 by 8. And this is the packaging, and it's in this really big, you can see the size of my head, the size of the packaging. It's really big. But yeah, they feel like they're really going to be nice and thick. So I got these to try. I figured that would be nice. Maybe after a workout, after a walk, like in between work and school, in between school and work and going out, you know, I mean, a bunch of different things this will be useful for just cleaning up. So I figured I would give this a try. It says not to flush it down the toilet, which probably wouldn't have anyways, but um, features and benefits, they're disposable, they're pre-moistened, they're enriched with aloe, vitamin E, and chamomile to help soothe the skin. So yeah, what does it say here? An alcohol-free and intended for the use of cleaning adult something similar to the use of baby wipes. It is intended solely for skin cleansing purposes. So yeah. I thought that would be really nice as a little freshen up thing. And then I found this, and it is the Eye Glow One Step Gel Nail Polish. You get 13, oh no, 0.45 fluid ounces. This is the gel effect, and I think they glow in the dark. So I grabbed the really fun highlighter yellow color, and I had never seen this. I think I'd seen this brand, but I'm not actually sure I have. The Eye Glow brand, I don't know. It looked new to me. So let me know down below if you guys have seen this before or if it's new, but they did have a bunch of beautiful colors. I just managed to limit myself to one, which was huge. I had a lot of restraint. There were a lot of really pretty colors, but I got this one because you hardly ever see this color, and I thought it would be fun. So I grabbed that. All right, the last two things in this haul. I'm sorry, guys, I told you it was a short one, but I wanted to get it out so that I could use this stuff. I found two more pairs of socks. They are the men's juncture socks in sizes 6 through 12. They, they are just these black, nice, ribbed, kind of thinner sock, a men's kind of a dressier sock, I guess it would be for men. But I grabbed these so that I could wear them under my boots for work because we have to wear black and my boots are black and I figured a black sock will show less, you know, if it does show a little bit. So I picked these up because I thought they were nice. So I'm gonna give those a try. I will let you guys know how those work out. I love the Juncture shoe liners for men's. Those fit me really well and I wear them when I wear my tennis shoe kind of to work, but I wanted these for my boots. So yeah, really excited with these. I thought these were really nice looking socks just in general, you know? But yeah, really excited to have found those. That was the first time I'd really seen them, but I haven't ever really been looking for, you know, nice men's black socks. But they didn't have any women's that were like this, and I wanted it to come up a little higher to fit with my boots. So we'll try those ones, and I'll let you guys know how it works out. That is all for my haul today, guys. Sorry it was so small again, but I will be going back this weekend, and I'll have a bigger haul for you guys. And I just wanted to show you so that I could put this stuff away and start using it, and you guys could see what I got. All right, I will see you very soon. If you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below of what you're finding lately at Dollar Tree. And I will see you all very soon. Until then, take care.